Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mystic Destinies! We are back as I have promised you for more Tatsuya Rao! Yay! We are here once again even though in the last episode we finished off his entire story and got his Mystic ending as you guys can see. But of course, <clears throat> oops sorry, still trying to recover from my awful like random cold. So, um, as I promised you guys, or as I told you, I will be coming back to do his other endings, which are his passionate and his dark end that we need to get, and of course, is to get, uh, to get his bad endings as well, which I found from looking at my non-spoilery guide, is that, um, those, uh, these endings are entirely separate from a bad, from a quote-unquote actual bad ending, so we don't actually get to see, like, any official kind of thing, other than, I guess, achievement, but, so yeah, um, those are entirely separate, they're not um, relating to the dark ending like I had presumed, so yeah. So I should I should have like presumed in the first place too because what's it called? Uh, because um, Show's dark ending wasn't necessarily a bad ending, quote unquote, which I thought it was initially when I first started the game because you know of the name dark ending, but no, it's not. It's not something that it's not something like that. So yeah, I should have figured with Tatsuya as well. So yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna basically uh, zoom through the story. It's like freaking, what's it called? Fast forward mode, like, what's it called? Speed run it. And uh, I'm just gonna choo uh, choose the answers that the guide has suggested me in order to get these uh, these certain endings. So, this first episode, I'm gonna do passionate end. And uh, yeah, if anything, um, I'm gonna skip over stuff that I've already done, like some of the same answers that overlap. I'm gonna skip those answers and questions. Um, anything that's new, of course, I'll show you guys and I'll, I'll catch you up briefly on where it is that we're at at the, at the point of the story. So yeah, let's get started! Okay, so here we are, we're in the first chapter, and this is a part where, uh, what's it called? Takumi sneaks up on us in the elevator because we're spacing off about thinking about Tatsuya and he's the one who's kind of like provoking us in a way where he's trying to be all flirty and shit and I think last time I said you're the one who's standing so close I think when we were getting a little uncomfortable or and he was like uh, implying that we're interested or something sort of that that's why this answer is here too so the guide actually tells us to choose this one and what if I was interested Ugh, this guy all right let's see if this works him and what if I was interested? What then? Because we all know he has a crush on us. I lean in just that little bit closer and he's gonna get so flustered. Watch. Yep. <laughs> My reply seems to have the desired effect when a slight blush colors Takumi's cheeks. I laugh. <laughs> Success. Maybe you shouldn't ask questions you aren't prepared to hear the answers to. Right. Heh. <laughs> yes. I played you in your own game. The, ev the elevator finally stops and the door is uh, open with a ding. Okay, so this is where we get off, I guess. Uh, Takumi grins and backs up. You're as interesting as I remember. Okay, so that's, that's that. Um, we can totally skip on to the next chapter, I think, which is all that's here. Chapter 1? Yes. Okay, so let's skip on ahead. This is strange. <laughs> I think I broke the game. I broke the game and it's like, now my phone is on constant ringing. Go away, there we go, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we're here, chapter two. This is the first time we meet Katsunoski and he was all, again, flirtatious, really upfront with us, and he's telling us that how we're so pretty and we're such a beautiful lady and blah, 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 and so we're like really thrown off. So I think the last time I asked him what he wants and, and or either way, I didn't accept his compliment either way. So the guy tells me to do it. So yeah, let's accept his compliment. Um, thank you, Mr. Kasima, I guess. Katsunoski's fine, okay. Uh, but you're intriguing enough that I'll let it slide this time, okay. I blink, suddenly feeling my cheeks get a little hot. Being complimented by someone so attractive out of the blue gets me a little flustered, yes. Uh, but there's something about him, about the way he says it, that irritates me. Uh, surely you must have some business of your own to attend to. Is that it? Can I skip on ahead? So I look over his casual clothes again, but Katsunoski just smiles brilliantly. Uh, for the moment, I'm for the moment my only business is learning more about you. Yes, true. Okay, so let's skip on ahead. I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Okay, guys, so we skipped a lot. So um, last time we were last left off with the skip was chapter two. We skipped all the way. Now we are in chapter six. So uh, all the all of my other previous questions from chapters three to five up until now are all the same as in the uh, Mystic End. 
so you guys can refer back to that. So anyways, current time in this story is basically after Tatsuya burst into that meeting that we had, we were having with our dad and uh, Katsunosuke and we find out that um, uh, Tatsuya is related to this whole entire business deal and uh, we were caught off guard with that and then afterwards uh, we were pulled aside by Katsunosuke because he seems pretty surprised by the fact that we also know Tatsuya in that kind of way and so he's confronting us and he's like I think he's asking us about Tatsuya and like if we if what what was our relationship with him I guess or something I don't even know anyway it's regarding to Tatsuya last time I said why are you so nosy because I didn't want to say anything to this creep so this time we're gonna say I'm not I'm not to what I don't even know I don't have any particular interest in him yes that that thing yeah I'm just concerned that he might be an obstacle to get to getting this deal done. That's believable, right? I guess. I see. Okay. Katsu scrutinizes me a lot. Katsu scrutinizes me a longer. I wonder if he can tell I I'm lying, but in the end, he doesn't say anything. So regarding that date, okay. So he's now he's <clears throat> he's going back on this topic. Uh, since I don't have time today, I'll take you out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. I prefer a yes. Okay, I think we can skip on ahead with this. Okay, here we are. We are at the uh, Yukimura Dojo where we met his grandpa. And this is after the fact that where um, Tatsuya's grandfather... Uh, what's... God damn it, what was his name? I... Dai... Daiki? I would die. Uh, something. It's the D. Sorry. Anyways, Tatsuya's grandfather was uh, was uh, telling Tatsuya that we need to get more training and be more serious in that. And um, he was on the cusp of threatening to, you know, spar against us if Tatsuya refused to do so. So then it it turns like it, it in turns uh, forced Tatsuya to spar us instead and he had to go kinda a little bit serious, kinda ham on us because, you know, he really needed to push us to in order to, you know, actually act like activate our, our ice powers. <laughs> So um, I think this is after the matter, and Tatsuya is just explaining. Oh, I didn't, you know, I I wouldn't have hurt you in, in that instance, kind of thing. And we were kind of like, I said last time we understood because you know I get it that you're trying to get like a rouse out of us because, um, yeah, a rouse, a rouse. No, not I don't even know, not that word, but like you know, a ruse, a ruse, <laughs> a ruse. I don't even know. Oh God, I can't English today. God. Anyways, he's just trying to get us to use our ice powers. Is what I'm trying to get at. So we were totally, we were, last time I said we totally get it, but then this time the thing, the the guy was like, hey, uh, the, was, it was like, what is it called? Oh, my text, my text message. Stop it. Stop texting me. Okay. Anyways, yeah, the guy says to say, what do you call it then? I'm mad. I'm mad that you try to kill me. What do you call, what do you call what you were trying to do then? I just knew grandfather wouldn't hold back. He would try and hurt you to trigger your powers. So I did it myself. Yes. Uh, you're both crazy. I didn't do anything to deserve that. Yes, because she's had bad experiences with that happening. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way my family is. For the way I am. Oh no! This is horrible. I know it must be difficult for you, and I'm sorry. I just don't do it again. You scared me. Okay. So she, yeah, she has some. I can understand where this answer is kind of like relatable, and it kind of flowed in that way because, in truth, yeah, uh, Hannah does have. The bad experience of kind of getting attacked suddenly just to get her powers triggered. So she hates that. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> An awkward silence falls upon us and I almost feel bad for the way I reacted. Yes. Still, I am happy he seems genuinely apologetic about it. Okay, so it did hurt, but if I say that, he'll, feel, he'll just feel worse. Okay, there we go. Now we can skip on ahead. Okay, skipped all the way to chapter 11. Well, not really. We only really did skip one chapter from that last time I kind of showed you guys what was happening. So this time we are in chapter 11 and we are basically, this is after the whole big sort of semi-battle against Katsunosuke at the riverside. And uh, T Katsunosuke was seriously injured and he drove off. And then Tatsuya kind of regained consciousness after getting nearly choked out by Katsunosuke. So we're arguing basically and he's just saying, why are you... Def why are you defending Katsunosuke? That guy's like a scumbag, blah blah blah, I should've killed him, you should've let me kill them. And, and we were like, no, like, you know, like, that's not, that's not right, like, why would you want to kill somebody, blah blah blah, it was dangerous, and you, you could've killed somebody, blah blah blah, and then, um, and then I think we, we did, we threw some words back at him that really, like, hurt him in a way where we're like, 
I think he was scared of getting emotion. He was scared of hurting people emotionally, but he wasn't afraid to actually kill somebody or hurt them physically. So that really got to him because after he spilled his feelings out to him, out to us. So yeah, then、um, last time he was kind of. This is when he actually says maybe we should end things between us, and then we were like, no, please wait. Last time, but then this time we're gonna say I just need some time. I think I just need some time to figure out where things are going. If we can do this. Well, I don't. Well, okay, blowing me off right off the bat. Well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised because he's really in like the heated moment right now. You've said more than enough, and I'm ending it. Wow, savage. You can't possibly think you can just say what you want without any consequences. It's over, Hannah. Oh wow, <laughs> wow. He's not gonna even try. Okay, without giving me a chance to say anything else, Tatsuya turns in the direction we came from and breaks into a sprint. I have no hope of catching up to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, then we can skip on ahead. Uh, I guess no, it's not letting me skip. Okay, the sound of the river is distant in my ears as I stand alone in the evening glow, dumbfounded. Okay,、uh, left alone with nothing but my tears for company, I turn and head for home. Now, can I skip ahead? Okay, you guys, we made it. We made it all the way to chapter fifteen, which is the the point where things can diverge and stuff and so on. So yeah, we made it. We skipped all the way to the end. It,、uh, all my other, the rest of the answer from then on, from the last time I skipped on ahead, was basically the same. It overlapped with the mystic end. So now we are in chapter fifteen, and instead of going to this um. What's it called? Like the snow festival, whatever the hell that we that we last left off in the Mystic End. We are here in the cafe. Okay. So after the duel between Tatsuya and Katsunoki was over, Tatsuya was rushed off to a meeting. Why? Cause you gotta you gotta sign some papers, gotta make it official and document. Understandably, the leadership transfer had created quite a bureaucratic mess. Yes, I would see. Yes. Uh, while Tatsuya had. While Tatsuya was gone, it was decided that everyone would get together to throw him a big celebration at Blue Sky. Aw, that's really cute.、Uh, I offered my help, even though we kind of did that already before he went into battle because it's like a pre-ass kicking game kind of thing, you know, kind of thing. And then afterwards, now where it's official, <laughs> that's cute. I offered my help to get everything ready before Tatsuya、uh, comes back. But even with keeping busy, I can't stop myself from thinking about him. Ah, time seems to move, especially slow, with minutes feeling like hours. I keep glancing at the clock, only to be disappointed that it hasn't been that long yet. I know it's like you're working. It's like you think you worked for like ten, fifteen minutes. You only worked for two minutes. <laughs> all right, Hannah, just focus on your task. Stop glancing at the damn time. That's not going to help things at all. Yes. No matter how much I keep telling myself this, I can't deny the fact that I miss Tatsuya so much already. Oh my God, girl, you're so whipped. Although it hasn't been that long since I last saw him, I didn't get a chance to talk to him alone before he had to go.、Uh, before I drift too far from my own thoughts, I brought out I'm brought out by them. I'm brought out of them by Emmy, who's next to me helping prepare drinks. Okay. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, Hannah, I'm so happy for you. I know. Thank you. I keep thinking about how cool it all is. I know. So what happens next? I don't know. With Tatsuya and the dragons and everything, I don't know. I am not well versed in this. Well, I don't really know. Yeah, everything works so differently here, and I've never been in this kind of situation before. I'm completely out of my element.、Uh, that's okay though. Even if you don't know, even if you don't know now, you'll figure it out or find out soon. Yeah, exactly.、Uh, thanks, Emmy. Emmy <laughs>、uh, starts helping me clean the glasses for the party without comment, happily humming some tune I can't recognize. Uh, hey, what's that song? What is that song? Let's shazam it. <laughs> huh? What? Oh,、uh, well, it's one of the songs my brother's band, my brother's band used to play. Okay, it's my favorite one actually. Okay. Oh, I see. Let me hear some of their songs sometimes. Oh, let me hear some of their songs sometimes. Yeah, you got. They got a little mixtape. Sure, he'd probably. Ah, what? Emmy switches gears in the middle of her sentence. Where? Why is Tatsuya here? Her eyes widen as she looks behind me. Uh, hello, sir. Ha, sir. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> yes. Hello, sir. Indeed. <laughs> I turn around and find myself facing Tatsuya's grandfather. Daichi. It's Daichi, not Daiki. <laughs> Daichi gives me a little nod.、Uh, Shinomura. Yeah. Ah,、uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, then his intensely blue eyes land on Emmy. Oh my God, girl. You are a mage, correct? Yes. Emmy nods slowly. Yes, I am. 
uh, he nods along. Uh, your ancestors fought bravely. Your your ancestors fought very bravely in the war. Yes. Uh, um. Yes. It, so did yours, sir. Uh. It's a shame that so many had to die. Yes. Uh. Out of nowhere, Daichi gives Emmy a deep bow. Aww. I would like to apologize. Oh my goodness gracious! He is just so honorable. <laughs> Emmy looks at me with confusion written on her face, then back at Daichi. On behalf of my ancestors, I would like to apologize for the needless deaths that the war has caused. That the war had caused. Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's it was out of your control. Emmy looks so panicked and confused that it's almost funny. With un with uncertainty in her eyes, she gives Daichi an awkward smile. Um, I humbly accept the apology. Yes. <laughs> Daichi stands up straight and smiles. Uh, please. Oh, okay, yes. Let it be known throughout all mages that the Ryu clan has apologized for our actions in the past. Yes, I totally get it. It can't bring back the it can't bring the dead back, but I pray it helps dragons and mages begin to reconcile. Yes. Um after that, Daichi leaves the two of us to ourselves. As soon as he leaves, Emmy lets out a huge sigh. Wow, yeah, same. That was so nerve-wracking. I had no idea what he would say, but I really didn't expect that. Yeah, same. That was really out of the blue, but I really appreciate it, though. <laughs> oh, I should go call my parents. Okay. Emmy quickly checks all her pockets and pulls out her phone and excuses herself to go outside to go talk to her parents. Uh, just as she walks out, the door swings open again, and an exhausted-looking Tatsuya walks in. Surprise! He smiles tiredly at me as he enters, and almost immediately he's surrounded by a crowd of well-wishers. Doesn't look like I'll get to talk to him alone just yet. I know, it's alright. Let him, let him, let him live the fantasy. He's like, clan head now. The cafe is filled with, with excited chatter and music as the, and music as the party finally starts. Uh, time marches on and on. Oh, time marches on and so do the festivities. But no matter how much time passes, I can't get any time with Tatsuya alone. Because yeah, he's. <laughs> whenever it does seem like I might finally be able to get uh, him to myself, there's always someone that pops up seemingly out of nowhere to, to talk to him. Yes. I do notice that even though he looks tired, he does seem somehow more relaxed than usual. Aw, that's good then. At least he's not too stressed. <laughs> with no other choice right now, I decide to just enjoy the party and wait for my moment to be with Tatsuya alone. Which I'm sure is after the party. <laughs> Several hours pass and my frustration only grows. Yes. It's understandable that everyone wants to spend time with the new clan leader, but this is just getting ridiculous. I'm his girlfriend, and I haven't even spoken a word to him all night. I sigh, trying to shoo away the negative feeling and the negative feelings, and that's when I see it, Sakuko getting up to stand on one of the tables. Whoa, what's up, girl? Oh no, why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Hello, everyone! Shut it for a second! <laughs> nice. Her voice rings out throughout the whole cafe. Almost immediately, everyone quiets down as they look at Sakuko. Oh my god, what is happening? A frowning Chitaki joins her, standing next to the table. <laughs> Sakuko, thank you for helping, but please do watch your language. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I apologize for Sakuko's rudeness, everyone. She's just, er, uh, very spirited. Now that everyone has had the chance to spend a little bit of time with our new clan leader, except for me, let's all let him spend some time with his precious girlfriend, alright? Aww! Yes, Shizaki, you're such a homegirl! I knew I could count on you! Oh my god, you totally get me! You totally get me! Oh my god, girl, I'm so touched. We wouldn't want to further get in the way of the two lovebirds spending some time together after all. <laughs> you're right, you are. Murmurs and uproarious laughter travels across the room and I could feel several pairs of eyes on me. Haha. <laughs> my cheeks start to grow uncomfortably hot. Chisaki looks at me through the crowd and I could swear I see a mischievous glint in her eye. Hey now. You two go on, but don't make my uh, you two go on, but don't make me any grandchildren just yet. Oh my god, I hate you. Oh my god. <laughs> my brain feels like it's short circuited. Uh, what? Grandchildren? I feel someone grab my wrists, and one fluid move, I'm twisted around and pulled forward. I nearly smack face first into Tatsuya's chest. Uh, he doesn't say anything, but when I look up, I see that his face is just as red as mine. Yes. 
As the party gets back to full swing, he quietly leads me out. Aw, can we go on the balcony or some shit? Do we even have a balcony? <laughs> and even as the door closes behind me, I can feel eyes watching our retreating backs. I guess we just- Oh, woo, where's this? No matter how many times I had asked, Tatsuya wouldn't tell me where he was taking me, only that it is- only that it's someplace special to him. Whatever annoyance I had felt at the secret melt- at the secret melted away once we actually got to the location. Wow, where are we? It's so beautiful here. We sit on some grass and I can't help but admire the waterfall in front of us. So pretty! Yeah, so pretty, but where the hell are we though? I'm glad you like it. Uh, I discovered this place when I was a child. A pretty, We're pretty close to Grandfather's Dojo, actually. Oh, wow. So we actually just like physically left the party and then just traveled some. Wow. Once, when I was about six or seven, I got fed up with his training and ran off, I discovered this place. Aww. <laughs> it was really calming for me, so I kept coming back. Oh, that's nice. I can understand why, yeah. I haven't been in, I haven't been in years, though. So busy with your life, I guess. For a while, we just enjoy the scenery and being together like this. I hear Tatsuya sigh and turn to look at him. What's wrong? Why are you sighing? It seems like we- It seems like he was watching me instead of the waterfall. Why? Am I beautiful? <laughs> Tatsuya? Why? What's on? What's wrong, honey? Most of my life has been shaped by what Katsu did to my family. Ah, that sucks. I took it upon myself to try and restore some of their dignity by working all the time. I thought my family deserved to live in a place worthy of our status in the Ryu clan, and I had and I thought I had to be the one to do it. But if that's not a problem but if that's not a problem anymore, then I guess I'd be completely free. Well, isn't that a good thing? Thing? <laughs> to be honest, if I had other options, I don't really I don't even really think I want to study business. Wow. Really? You seem so well suited for it. Uh, maybe I seem that way, but it's probably only because that's the way I thought I should be. Okay, then follow your dreams then. What do you mean? Cause he only did it for the family, yeah? I've always hated my dragon side, so I wanted to be as far away from that as possible. Oh. I didn't want to be like some violent wild beast. Well, it's okay. I kind of like it wild sometimes, no? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, I'll stop. I wanted to be calm and intellectual. Uh, so I've always done my best to appear that way. But you are a smart guy. I know, you are. Uh, Tatsuya chuckles. Maybe, maybe not. I've done a lot of dumb things. Yeah, you have. Not gonna lie. I've done some dumb things too, don't worry. So we're, we're even. <laughs> and being smart doesn't have to... And being smart doesn't have much to do with looking smart. Um, I've only recently started to understand these feelings through meeting people like you and even Shinji. Uh, you're one of the most intel you're one of the most intelligent people I've ever met, but you don't go around flaunting that. Aww, <laughs> I'm so humbled. In truth, you're better suited for business than I am. Well, yeah, and my dad is the CEO of a business, so not only are you smart, but you're good with people. And you're passionate about business. Are you trying to flatter me? <laughs> I don't flatter people. I mean what I'm saying. Aww. Oh, you. But in truth, it's a little scary to be suddenly cut free. Yeah, true. All this free time and freedom, you don't know what to do with it. I never really considered a different kind of life. I had always just assumed I'd help my mother grow her business and that's it. I'm not really certain what to do now. Oh, well, it's okay. You can take your time with it. Well, what about any hobbies? Yeah. Isn't there anything you like to do or always wanted to do? One thing, maybe. Okay, we can start with that. Is it playing the piano? Yeah, oh yeah, we totally, I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's about all I ever really enjoyed and was even moderately good at. Aw, but I don't really have any natural talent at it. But that means, like, no one really does, you know? You know that's all practice. Practice makes perfect. Natural talent is overrated, right? Exactly. Sure, it can give you an edge when you start, but I think that people forget the hard work that has to be put in, that has to be put in to get where you want to be. Exactly. If you say that someone can do something well because of natural talent, then you're dismissing the countless hours and hard work they put in to perfect their craft. I lean in closer to Tatsuya, so close I can clearly see my face. I can clearly see myself reflected in his eyes. If you really want to do it, then I'll support you through it. Exactly. I'm all for it. I'll support you through everything. Uh, thank you. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I'm grateful. Aw, and I'm grateful for you too. 
Looking at Tatia finally being alone like this, I realize I'm totally in love with him. I'm totally whipped. I want to do more. I'm happy just being with him. I want to do... <laughs> Hannah, what does it mean that you want to do more? More in what way? What, what is your definition of more? I want to do more. <laughs> When Tatsuya smiles at me, I can't resist anymore. I close the distance between us, sitting closer to him. Kiss him! I can feel Tatsuya's surprise at my sudden move, but that soon melts away as we look into each other's eyes. Kiss me. His arms wrap around my waist, pulling me closer. I fall into him, and as soon as I look up, I'm greeted with a kiss. Ah! Oh. Tatsuya's cold fingers trail along my heated skin, making me shiver. Wow! Are we actually... I desperately grip, grip onto his shirt as his lips move from mine to travel down my neck. Oh my! <laughs> we, wow, okay, okay, This is this your definition of more? <laughs> I bite my lip holding back a moan. Oh gosh. Right here, by the waterfall. Oh my god. I, put, I push my body weight into his until he's lying down. Oh my god. Wow, Hannah. You are such a freak of nature. <laughs> god. With me on top of Tatsuya, I run my fingers through his hair and lean down to kiss him. Oh my gosh. He pulls my body down to his hard, to his hard one, pressing us together. Oh my gosh. Same with Tatsuya. I can say the same with Tatsuya. He's actually going along with it. My hands start to make their way under his shirt when I feel it. Feel what? His hard rock abs? Something's vibrating in his pocket. Oh no. Okay, well. I, I'm glad, actually, because I ain't about to get jiggy in the middle, middle of this waterfall here. I gasp and squeak at the sudden feeling and pull back. He looks up at me with a confused look on his face. Oh, he's so caught up in it, he doesn't even notice. Your, um, pants are vibrating. I think it's your phone. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, he quickly pulls away from me entirely and gets his phone out, yes. Tatsuya glares at the grinning picture of Takumi on the screen as he keeps vibrating over and over. <laughs> it's like he knows, it's like Takumi has that childhood sense. Like, you know, his senses are tingling. I must make this call. He clicks his tongue and answers the phone, sitting up. Hello. <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. Yes, I heard what you said. Everyone did. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Is he checking up on them? Oh, my God. Is he checking up? He's like, hey, Chisaki actually told, like, you know, clearly told you not to go making grandchildren anytime soon. So are you? <laughs> I'm just checking in to make sure you're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, fine. I'll see you later. Don't forget to lock the door, okay? He hangs up and sighs. Tatsuya then looks at me and sighs. What? Taku wanted to know if we're planning on staying out all night or what, or not. All night. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, whatever we had started before, the mood doesn't feel right anymore to continue. Yes. Uh, we would get teased so hard if we stayed out the whole night. Yes, I'm just imagining all the potential teasing makes me giggle. Oh. <laughs> Tatsuya nods and sighs, lying back down, looking up at the stars. Well, it can't get any worse. It won't get any worse than this. I stare at his blue eyes, reflecting the moonlight off of them, at, and at his silky, silky hair, almost the color of night. Oh, yeah. What I was gonna, what I was meant to say was that it could get worse if you had continued because then everyone's gonna be like, Oh my god, you two are so freaky that you just had to do it by the waterfall outside in the open. Oh my god, you guys. I had never thought that you would be like that, Tatsuya. Meet you too, Hannah. I hesitate for only a moment before reaching out to stroke his hair. Tatsuya seems surprised but then smiles. Um, I would be a lot more comfortable than the ground. I say this in a small voice, and Tatsuya turns a little red, even at this small thing. Yeah, you can lie, you can lie your head on your, my lap, right here. But after a moment, he scoots over to me and lays his head on my, in my lap. We don't say anything, we don't need to. I look off at the waterfall, mesmer, mesmerized by the flow of water as I, as I accidentally stroke his hair. When I look down at him, I have to, I have to hold back a, gi a giggle. Are you sleeping? Did you fall asleep on me? He fell asleep. So cute. Aww. <laughs> now I'm stuck. <laughs> I keep gently stroking his head with a smile. He looks so peaceful. Aww. He grumbles something in his sleep and moves closer to my hand. Aww. He must have been more tired than I knew. Even though I, sh I know I should probably wake him up, I don't want to, at least not for now. Yeah, we can give him like a 15, power, 15 minute power nap. 
I decide to let him sleep like this for a little bit so that he can rest somewhat. Watching him sleep, I realize that I have never felt happier in my life. Ah, there we go. Hey! <laughs> so there's that. There is that. That's his. That's his passionate end, and I can see why it's called passionate end. We just nearly just got it on in the waterfall. God. Anyways, let's see. Oh, I don't think that gave us any like. <clears throat> what's it called? Any new CGs? No, we're still missing the one. Maybe it has something to do with like getting everything, like all his endings. Anyways, um, regardless, I feel like I'm gonna leave this episode here, you guys. I Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mystic Destinies! Yay! We are back again for more Tatsuya route! <laughs> so, as- <coughs> Ah! God! Ah! As I promised you guys, um, since the last episode where we finished off on getting his passionate end, we are now here in this episode for his dark end. Again, once again, I'm going to do it as a speedrun. I'm going to just zoom past all the chapters to make the necessary choices in case there are um, the very few rare occurrences where, where my choices overlap with my past choices. Um, then I will skip all the way through and then I will catch you guys up on where I will stop and then when something's different and then yeah I'll fill you guys in on the timeline and then we'll you know get going on the choices and then read what difference it would make so yeah and so uh, let's get started okay you guys we surprisingly skipped all the way to chapter 3 and uh, because uh, yeah surprisingly enough chapters 1 and 2 had choices that overlap with each other that I already made in the past so here we are we are in chapter 3 and um, we are basically we just we just met Emmy, and this is the part where we get off the the train to go to uh, Choa, and then we we're supposed to meet up with uh, Tatsuya, which we have, and to go to his uh, cafe. So um, because uh, Emmy doesn't know Tatsuya all that well, I think, or whatever, or I don't even know. But like, anyway, she the the question prompt was is that uh, Emmy was asking if Tatsuya was our boyfriend, and we we said. Uh, no way last time, and then this time we are going to say, I wish. <laughs> that might be nice. <laughs> I mumbled this, but Tatsuya apparently hears because he turns around. Can you maybe keep your wishes to yourself? Hey now! Hey, you don't have to say it that way. Well, you don't have to be rude, right? God. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Uh, we're steady partners, that's all. No, he, at least he's blushing, so it's like you can tell he's embarrassed and being all sundary about it. Oh, alright then. No need to freak out about it. Yeah. Uh, good to hear though you were so cold to- you- Good to hear though you were so cold with her that I would have been worried. Okay. And exactly who are you? Right. I'm Emi Matsuda, I'm a mage, and I'm, and I'm enrolled over at Hagiwara. Okay, I think we, it's safe to say we can skip ahead. Okay, here we are. We skipped all the way through chapter 4 now at this point, and we are at the point where we meet uh, Haruna over at the... Uh, I forgot what the place is called, but anyways, we're supposed to deliver drinks, and Tatsuya and her are having a really, like... We're, they were really caught up in their conversations and stuff, and so once Haruna leaves, um, Tatsuya is still visibly like really deep in thought afterwards. So we're trying to get his attention right now, and before we just, we actually did try to get his attention, but this time the guy tells me to yell at him. God, <laughs> hello, can you stop ignoring me? Tatsuya snaps to attention and looks at me. Sorry, what's the problem? Ah, <laughs> you're ignoring me. The problem is you've been ignoring me ever since that girl showed up. Oh, ooh, wow, Hannah just getting all like defensive and like really bitchy about this. No, I... Uh, look, she's... I haven't talked to her in years, so what's your deal? <laughs> just because you see someone you do Just because you see someone you know doesn't mean you have to totally ignore me, right? Oh, you're such a jerk. Wow. I shoved the money into his hands and walked past him. Right. I'm going home. Bye. <laughs> I don't give Tatsuya any time to respond as I storm out of the bar. Okay, there we go. Uh, this time, I'm not even tempted to look back for his reaction. I, yeah, okay. Uh, if Tatsuya uh, even tried to follow me, I don't know if I'd slap him or let him apologize. Oh, wow. Okay, this is why they did the skip button didn't let me skip ahead. Because, damn, girl. Damn, she mad. Jesus. Uh, but I don't want to forgive him. I don't want to give him even the chance to try. Wow, she's so mad! 
After only a few steps out of the bar, I break into a run before he can catch up to me. There we go. I think we can skip now. Okay, here we are, chapter 5 in the middle of it, and this is a point where it's after Takumi rescues slash finds us at the Ryu compound in Katsunosuke's bed. And so he was there on his own little mission, and so he's driving us back, and this is a point where he's asking us, you know, uh, what, we're, what exactly were we doing there, how we ended up there. So the last time we said to explain, and then now this time the guide is saying to say you don't know. I really don't know what happened. It could have been anything, honestly. I shudder. Oh. To be honest, I don't really know why I was in the bed or anything else. Uh, how is it that you don't know how you woke up next to some guy? Were you drinking and passed out? No, I'm not that careless. Jesus. No, what kind of girl do you think I am, right? Pouting a bit, I decide not to tell him what I know. Uh, it's not really your business what I'm up to anyway. If I want to sleep with 10 guys, I don't see what it has to do with you. Wow, girl. Okay, what? <laughs> it's like, I don't care. It's like, you can't tell me what to do. I'll be a hoe if I want to. Takumi's body stiffens and I instantly regret what I said. But we all know she wouldn't do that. Ugh, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I just really don't know how, I, how I got there. I lived with Katsu one moment, attacked by some random person the next, and woke up there last. Uh, that enough for you? Takumi nods curtly, and I sense I've irritated him. Oh no. That room was so weird anyway. Uh, it, looked so, it looked so western, nothing like the rest of the house. I can shed some light on that one. Oh, can we skip on ahead because we already know because they're doing renovations? Yes. Anyways, guys, hello! We are in the final chapter now. Oh my god. So I never- I didn't realize just how many, like, overlapping answers that I had up until from the last skip that I gave you guys. So, like, from there on, it was all the same. It was either- it overlapped with the mystic ending, uh, answers that I was- I was getting, or it was, uh, overlapping with the, uh, passionate end that I was getting. That I got. So yeah, so that was- that was surprisingly, um, like quick so I I would probably have to like change a plan where like I will stick stick both passionate and the, the dark end here into one episode I thought it was gonna take much longer because that happened with me and show but anyways regardless whatever we're here so instead of either at the cafe or even at the uh, the little festival that we had with the mystic and the passionate end we are here at the Rio compound so yeah let's see what's gonna happen <clears throat> So it's been nearly a month since Tatsuya defeated Katsunosuke. Yes, wow, okay. And it's been exactly that long since we, har since we heard anything about him at all. Oh, wow, where'd he go? Somehow, with enough insistence, I got Tatsuya to agree to visit him with me. Really? Where? <laughs> what? Upon arrival, we are immediately led through the compound and right into the room that Katsu is staying in. Okay, so he's still there, but he's not... Okay, yeah, choo-choo. Choo-choo, um... Tatsuya did say that like he would still keep Katsunosuke around just to use him as kind of like an advisor, I guess it was. So I don't even know. Something like that, whereas Katsunosuke was actually planning on like banishing Tatsuya if he wins. So yeah. Okay, well at least see, at least you have to keep your nice room. God. We find him lounging on one of the couches looking rather relaxed. Enjoying life, I see. He throws a bitter smirk our way, his eyes landing on Tatsuya, yes. So has the exalted leader come to rub his victory in my face by bringing Hannah with him? Like, oh, shut up! Before Tatsuya can say anything, I take a step forward, drawing Katsu's attention to me. I'm sorry, but I'm the one who insisted he come along with me. Right? I was the one who wanted to visit you, girl. God, be, be more grateful. I felt obligated to do so. Katsu lets out a dry chuckle, choosing not to comment. But I can tell what he thinks of my feelings of obligation. Nonetheless, he seems amused by me even now. Then let's get to business, shall we? Okay. What are we here for? Yeah. Tell me what your obligation has led you all the way here to say. Tatsu and I take our seats on the opposite couch. Okay. Since you were the one who led the deal between the Ryu and Shinomura Industries, it seems only fair that you should know how it's settled. Right. Our gracious leader is apparently very kind to his subjects. Oh my god, stop being such a- like, stop being so salty about this, god! Who knew? He's so salty. Oh my god, but I don't- I don't blame him though. He had so much riding and so much, like, you know, to bet on with this whole entire thing that he just ends up losing. He's just like, fuck. Tate ignores the sarcastic remark and continues. It's been decided that we won't be going through the deal as it was originally concocted. Uh, we don't want to sell all our assets, and it would reflect upon us poorly to completely go back to on the deal. Okay, but through 
But through negotiation, I think we've come to a compromise that benefits everyone. Is that so? Oh, is it? Those who are interested in being bought out will be. Okay. Uh, that's of course with the condition that Shinomura keeps employees where they can when possible. Okay. Katsunosuke gives Tatsuya a long, quiet stare, then smiles. Although the smile looks wrong somehow. Why? <laughs> and how long before you kick me out of here? Ah, uh, even though you nearly drove the clan to destruction, I don't harbor any desire for you or your name to be dragged through the mud. Ah, uh, wow, he's so gracious. Not when I might be able to use you. Right, as an advisor or some sort, I don't even know. You can live here until I need the compound for my family and real clan business as far as I'm concerned. Okay. <laughs> Katsu snorts. <clears throat> A far kinder leader than anyone expected. Right. But I don't need your charity. Why? Why? Because you're too prideful? Is that it? Girl, he was letting you keep the compound until he actually needs to use it. Because he was going to actually go live at his family house. But now nah, you're just like, no, nah, I don't need it. I'll be, out of, I'll be out by the end of the year. Really? If that's what you want. Yeah, exactly. Okay, whatever. If you, if you got something else, I'm sure. But don't, get, but don't go too far. I might have some use for you. Katsu chuckles mirthlessly, shaking his head. Ah, uh, by the way, what? Any negotiations that you had with Shinomura were under the name of the Ryo clan, so they'll be transferred to Tatsuya instead. Uh, your role th in this is done. So yes, you are out of this business deal. Goodbye. Katsu waves a hand and chuckles. He's like, yeah, I, don't, I get it, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I know all that. Even still, it's my duty to tell you. Yeah. Perhaps for the first time since we walked in through the bedroom door, Katsu looks directly at me. You might make a half-decent CEO as long as you remain as strong and decisive. Thank you. What will you do now, Katsunoski? Yeah, do you have like a summer cottage that you have somewhere in the countryside far off? East? I don't even know. <laughs> Katsu shrugs, his eyes traveling off toward the large windows. I've always thought my freedom, and I, but I never thought there would be a day where I would actually have it. Okay, so good on you then. This isn't this what... Yeah, go roam freely as you you wish now. He looks to Tatsuya, and I can see the amusement dance in his eyes. It's ironic, Snowflake. Uh, what you gave me was what I didn't want. What you gave me was what I didn't know I wanted. Right? Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? For once, Tatsuya doesn't look annoyed at T Tatsu's strange nickname for him. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know what I'll do with my newfound freedoms. I don't know. Travel. But finding out is the exciting part, isn't it? Yeah, good on you, he laughs. Perhaps I'll truly be able to enjoy myself. I'm glad you found the good in all of this. Good luck with this mess of a clan, Tatsuya. He's like, yeah, fuck it, I guess, you know, this is your problem now. <laughs> but now I want to get some rest. Okay. Katsu lazily waves us away. He even doesn't bother waiting for us to leave the room before he lies back and seemingly falls asleep almost instantly. Now nah, he's just faking it. It's almost comforting to see how he hasn't changed much. <laughs> it's, he's a little bit more salty about the whole losing thing, but like, yeah. <laughs> With our business here concluded, Tatsuya and I leave the Ryu compound together. And we back here. After leaving the compound, we decide to stop by Blue Sky to see if Chisaki needs any help for the day. Okay. We barely make it through the door when Chisaki comes out to greet us. Oh, hey girl. Hey home girl. Tatsuya, Hana, yes. I didn't expect to see either one of you here today. Uh, but excellent timing. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> Tatsu, Haruna came by earlier t to leave a birthday present for you. Aw, isn't that sweet? What? A birthday present? By, yeah, oh god, we're, gonna, we're probably gonna be like, I didn't know it's your birthday, I'm a horrible girlfriend. I look at Tatsuya, who seems just as surprised. Why are you here anyway? Uh, if you were thinking of working today, you can forget it. Aw, she's just like, I ain't gonna let you work, it's your birthday. You're a grown man, Kay. Uh, you can celebrate your birthday how you want today. Yeah. And we'll have our celebrations for you later this week this weekend. Aw, yeah. See, I, I want I want I want her to be my mom or auntie. I want her to be my auntie. I completely forgot that it's my birthday. Oh wow, true. <laughs> I figured that would be the case. And I didn't even know it was. Yeah, <laughs> I was right with her. How can you just forget when you're how can you just forget when your own birthday is? I don't know, some people just do that. I do too, sometimes. Before Tatsuya can reply, Chisaki cheerfully chimes in instead. Uh, Tatsuya has been like this in recent years, right? 
but oh Hannah, you should have seen him when he was little. <laughs> Do you have any baby photos I can look at? My cute little son used to love his birthday so much, he would always want to wear this. <laughs> Mother, please, that's enough. <laughs> we'll be going now, goodbye. <laughs> so you don't want me to wear? Okay, bye, yeah, I'm leaving. Leaving. Tatsuya grabs my arm and the gift that Haruna had left him and quickly drags me out of blue sky. We walk for a while before Tatsuya finally slows his pace, apparently having deemed this far enough. Ah, apparently having deemed this is far enough from Blue Sky and his mother. He doesn't say anything, but I can't get it off of my mind. What did you used to wear? <laughs> I pulled Tatsuya by the sleeve of the. I pulled Tatsuya off. <laughs> I pulled Tatsuya by the sleeve off the busy sidewalk and stand next to his story. Right. God, that was such a struggle. <laughs> Uh, Tatsuya, how could you forget your own birthday? Well, he's a busy man, you know? He has a lot on his mind. Actually, why haven't you even mentioned it? Uh, if it wasn't for us visiting your mom, I would have never found out about it at all. Would have. Would I? Uh, how many moment? How many months would have passed without you even so much as mentioning your birthday? Aw, oh, she's mad. She's like, your birthday's important. Why didn't you tell me? Tatsuya sighs. Uh, I will make a stronger effort to be better about that sort of thing from now on. Oh, okay. Aww. I'm not exactly used to anyone outside my family caring. Aww. I can tell that he I can tell that he means what he says, but I can't stop pouting about it regardless. Well, I care. I'll get back at you one day. Well, I care. <laughs> I care. I see. Well, I care. I care about everything to do with you, so don't forget it. Yeah. I'm so and I'm so thankful for that. Ah, glad you know. I just need some time to get used to it. I want to know everything about you so much sometimes that it's hard. <laughs> but for you, I'll wait. Uh, so what do you want to do now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't respond at first. I'm not sure what to say. Yeah, I don't. It's your birthday, man. Like, where do you want to go? <laughs> what do I want to do now? I don't know. Neither of us has to work. There's nothing that needs to. Uh, that no, there's nothing that needs. Uh, doing for school, whatever. And we don't need to worry about the business deal at all for now. So we're free to do whatever we want for once, but I have no idea what we could do. Oh my god, I see that's everybody's problem. It's like all this freedom and free time. What do I do? But I, I get you. I feel you. Well, I'm thinking my eyes drift down to the package Tatsuya is holding. Oh yeah, well, start off. We can open that first. Are you upset about something? No. Am I? Low-key, maybe? Yes? <laughs> Is it about the gift? Huh. I can't quite get the words out, so I just nod. I didn't even know when his birthday was, and yet Haruna got him a gift. Right. Tatsuya smiles down at me and hands me the gift. Open it then. Yeah, why not? I shake my head. No, it's yours. Alright. I don't really care about it. <laughs> if it'll make you smile, open it. It's okay, but thanks. Maybe we can open it later? Yeah. Well, we can open it together! God! Tatsuya doesn't seem to hear me though, he appears to be thinking about something else. What? Honestly though, how can you complain? Uh, with the way you were smiling at Katsunosuke. Why? <laughs> oh, were you, were you jealous too? Loki jelly? What? I was not smiling. An uncomfortable silence falls between us. <laughs> Neither of us says it, but it's now obvious that we've been jealous. Aww, no. <laughs> the awkwardness hanging between us is so thick that I can't look him in the eye. Baby, you don't need to be jealous. What do you want to do now? I, I mean, I'm, that puts us on even ground, so it's okay. Is there anywhere you want to go since it's your birthday? Right, I was going to ask you that. We can do whatever you want, you know. There's still some of the day left. Right. If I'm honest, what? We never get time like this. I know we don't. I just want to go somewhere where I can be alone with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that waterfall from like the passionate end? I don't even know. His voice is so quiet that I almost miss it. I finally look at him, or try. Would you... do you want to come over to my place then? Oh yeah, uh, yeah! <laughs> oh, why are you blushing? I would like that, yes. Uh, I take a deep breath to calm myself and take Tatsuya's hand as, I casually, as casually as I can manage. His cheeks redden even more than before. Girl, stop. <laughs> but but he doesn't comment. He just gives my hand a little squeeze instead. I can feel my cheeks still burning, but I resist the urge to put his cold hands on my face and pull him along. Uh, having become a little more used to all the various exits all around Choa, I take Tatia through the quickest way to my apartment. Tatia lets me lead the way, but honestly, my heart is pounding. Girl, unless you are planning something to happen, then girl, not stop acting like it's gonna. 
it'll be his first time at my place. Ooh, oh my gosh, yes, okay. There, see? Isn't my, isn't my place so nice and clean? On the way home, I couldn't stop worrying. I couldn't remember at all if I cleaned up recently or not. I was pretty sure that I had, but the anxious feeling of what if I forgot would not leave me. Uh, we make it to my apartment in no time at all, and, I, and as I let Tatia inside, I feel my heart hammering away. Do you like my place? Do you like my decor? Isn't it nice? Tatia looks around my living room quietly, and the silence doesn't help my nervousness at all. He can't hear my heart going nuts, can he? Well, unless he has super hearing. Maybe. It's very clean and tidy here. Oh, thank you! I've wondered before what your place is like, so it's kind of nice to finally see it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I motion for him to sit on the couch and quickly bring out some refreshments. I sit down next to him, but it feels so stiff and awkward being here like this. I glance at Tatsuya, who seems to be looking at anywhere but me. You wanna Netflix? Maybe chill? <laughs> Should I? I don't know. Ugh, we would- Ugh, we should be used to this, but we don't often get time alone. I can feel my myself shaking. Oh my gosh. I can't hide how nervous I feel, nor do I try as I lean my head on Tatsuya's shoulder. I'll just try to do this. Um, um, what? I've been wondering, what? Don't I feel too cold for you? No! You're like a, a nice little ice pack that I need in the summer, and it's great. I shake my head with a little smile. No, you're not. I've gotten used to it. It's soothing somehow. Uh, to be honest, I've never felt this comfortable with someone in my life. Aww. My mother never really comforted me very much. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> but now I realize she was just trying not to get too emotionally attached to me so she could complete the ritual. Oh, right. Uh, Tatia wraps an arm around me, pulling me closer to him. Aww. I'd like to be your comfort, always. Aww. <laughs> okay, then. I want to protect you from all the things that might that make you sad. Oh, okay. I I want to be the one who makes you happy too. You're already doing it. He sighs. I was jealous of Katsu because I feel like I can't make you smile like that. But you do, girl. <laughs> I don't always know the right thing to say like he does. And I'm not I'm not always good with being honest with myself, so it's not easy for me. I pull my head away to look up at him. That's not true, yeah. Even though we argue and we will probably have hard times sometimes, no one has ever made me feel so happy as you. I feel je I felt jealous of Haruna for so long. She was the only one I'd ever seen you talk to so gently, right? She was the only one you'd smile for. Ah, uh, well, well that isn't true anymore. Ah, No, you're the only one who's special to me, Hannah. Bah! <laughs> His lips crash onto mine with a fervor I can rarely see in Tatsuya. Ooh, wow. Or should I say, I only see it when it comes to me? Maybe, yeah. Sweet and a little bit bitter, his lips taste like like ice mocha. Ah, oh, that's nice. I almost giggled. Maybe he had a nice mocha before. Of course, he tastes like coffee. <laughs> it's cute. Tatsuya pushes me down onto the couch even as I pull him down with me. Ooh, okay, wow, okay. Mm, getting a little steamy here. His cold fingers feel so good on my heated skin. Well, yeah, I bet it does. His lips travel down my skin, I sigh. This is nice. This, with him, it feels so natural, so wonderful. Yes, I'm sure it does. It's getting harder to think. <laughs> I feel so safe with Tatsuya, yes. In between the happy sighs and gas, I feel so happy. I'm so glad that we chose each other. Uh, I let myself drown in him. Okay, there we go! Hey! Hey, we got it! Yay! There we go, that's his dark end. I totally forgot how show's dark end went, but yeah, again, it's not exactly a, like, what's it called? A bad ending, per se, but it's like, uh, alternate ending. <laughs> I don't even know, but anyways, um, yeah, so, as I, I was going on before getting into the final chapter in the dark end, I was saying how surprised I was with how short it, it actually came out to be. So I will definitely, for sure, uh, will um, squish it in with the passionate end, so that it can be one episode and not too like really, rid not too ridiculously short. So yeah. So the passionate end and the dark end. There you go. There you go, you guys. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still planning on sticking to my initial plan, where it's like instead of you know, 
Well, this is the only change that I made, so like, Passionate End and Dark End will be together in one episode, as you will see in like the edit of the full episode here. And then uh, afterwards, in the next episode, I will be doing the bad ends, and those two will be squishing together. So yeah. So I, I again, I kind of want to at least keep it like that way, so that it's at least a little organized and not too like again disor, not too yeah disorganized and not too like awkward cuts and shit like that. So yeah, there we go. There we go, we still haven't gotten our last CG, I noticed, but I'm pretty sure, again, it must have something to do with me completing everything, maybe something on the bad end as well. But anyway, so close, so close to actually, you know, getting all the endings, all the available endings for Tatsuya's route. And then we can finally move on to his epilogue, which I'm itching to just get to right now, so... So yeah, uh, that is all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And so yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode still with Tatsuya because that episode will, again, as I said, will be the both of the bad endings that we can get with him. So yeah, until then you guys, um, bye! <laughs> I can never do this! I'm still trying to recover. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. Okay, until next time you guys, bye!